What's up YouTube? Welcome in and welcome back to my first time blind playthrough of Dragon Age Origins. We are in the middle of a ruined temple right now. We found Brother Genitivi. We got transported to this temple and that's where we're at right now. Last episode we also locked in our romance with Alistair and I think sadly we broke Severin's heart in the process which was really sad. But we're locked in, we're good to go, and we'll see where that takes us. I don't want to do like a super long intro today because I want to see what... I think this temple is going to be super long and I really want to see what it's all about. So I think we just get right into it. I think we just go. We're just go, go, going is what I'm thinking. All right. No, I just came from there. So I think we go this way. We came upon this, like, I'm guessing it's a dragon cult. I'm guessing it's a dragon cult because Waylon had a book about dragon cults. So I'm guessing that's what they are. Um, I think that was some foreshadowing for sure. Ah! By the game. Uh, yikes, what do I do? Ash wraiths are ugly. They are very ugly. They just... They have mouths on their body. That's nasty. You're nasty. Disgusting. Disgusting. Do you think I could mind blast them? Do you think that works? Oh, no, of course it doesn't. They resisted. You're mine. Okay. Okay, not bad. We're done here. I'm also super upset because I don't have any good um, outfits for my... Oh. <gasps> Damn it. Oh, are these all trapped? Let's make this quick, shall we? Oh, no. Okay. Yeah, exactly, Zevran. That's how I feel, too. Can't be serious. Yeah, every single one is good. Oh, shit. Every single one is going to be trapped? Well, then I'm just going to go around and I'm going to open all of them. Fuck this. Oh, there's a great sword, though. Oh, it's only tier four. Lame. Okay. Oh my god, they look huge. Oh shoot. Um, okay. Mmm, cone of cold? Yeah. Oh, nice. Anything else? Do we think that this one might have? Yeah, great. They're all trapped. All right. Oh, and there's even more. Hmm, unfortunate. Let's see. Do I think I could do, like, Soul Prison? Maybe? No? Ugh! Oh, that Whirlwind is cool, though. It is cool. Okay. Well, that was a lot. What's gonna be up here? Okay, just Human Cultus. Nice. Yeah, I think this might be like the deep roads and it's just going to be enemy after enemy. Um, I need to know, is this going to like follow me throughout the game? Right. This super, um, it, it reminds me of like a hack and slash D&D dungeon where it's just hordes of enemy after enemy because you're trying to get XP in D&D, right? Well, if you do um, XP leveling, I usually... I don't know if that was a thing, but um, I'm stunned. Oh, okay. Oh, all right. I want Win to cast haste. Yes. All right. 
That's Matarat, Andraste's husband, and the one who betrayed her to the Imperium. What? Where? There? That is what he's talking about? This statue? This is what this is? Oh my. Wait, what if this is a cult to him? Surely not. No? I don't... Hmm. Because that's... That's weird. I don't really know what to think. Hmm. Cult Overseer? Oh, damn it. Okay. Let's get started. Okay. And then I think I want to do fireball on you. This should be easy enough. Shoot, but it I didn't mean to knock that guy out of Unfortunate. Okay. Um then we're gonna do some cone of cold, I think. And I think you get winner's grasp. Because I don't want you in my face. And you have to go too. Where can you go? Severin is tough, man. Look at him. He is tough. <laughs> I mean, so is Alistair, obviously. Alistair is our tank. He's super tough, but... Mm, there's still more, so what is it? Cultist Mage. Oh, they're just both humans. Okay. You suck. Alright, I'm going to... Nice, Severin. Fuck her up. Oh, well, that was quick. Okay. Oh, shoot. Goodness. There's just so many things. Yeah, this is definitely one after another after another. Hmm. I love it when Severin kicks at them, though. I think it's so funny. Do we go this way, you think? Oh, I guess this is the only way to go. I didn't realize that. Hmm. I feel like we're in a... Oh, shoot. Oh! Oh! Okay, 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 okay. Wait. Oh, they're behind us! Oh, no! Oh, no! I... Oops. Um, okay. Well, you're going to get a cone of cold to face. Look at that face right there. Look at that. <laughs> For this to be like 2009, the graphics aren't awful. I think that's when it came out anyway. Oh, man. I'm stuck. Oh, we're saving. So what does that mean? Big fight coming up? What is here? Okay, just humans, it looks like. Alright. Cultist mage has got to go. And it ain't gonna be me! It ain't gonna be me. Not today, not today, not today. So, last episode, I lost 13 approval points with Severin. So I think I have to... I'm gonna have to give him a gift. I know love languages, like, aren't a thing, but it seems like our companions really like them, and that's the only way, one of the few ways to get approval back. So I think that's what I'm gonna have to do. I think I might have a gold bar in my bag, maybe. So we'll see. Oh my god, there's so many humans. Ooh, what do I want to do? What should I do? Mm, 
maybe I put this for the dragonling, the fireball. Oh, the dragonling behind me. Oh my God, are those eggs? <gasps> are those dragon eggs? Oh, is Wynn gonna die? Wynn, please get out of there. I'm gonna take a lyrium potion. Hmm. Okay. And now I'm gonna do this. Nice. Oh, I think Wynn needs help. Wynn needs help. Wynn needs help. All right, Wynn. I'm, I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. Um, let's at least... Yeah, and we'll take this one down, too. Okay. You ain't gonna get Wynn. Nope, 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 nope. Not today. Not today. We don't play around when it comes to win. Nice. Okay. Now, are these dragon eggs? Ooh. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. What is this book? Oh. Oh. A story of the Frostback Mountains. Even mountains had a heart once. When the world was young, Korth the Mountain Father kept his throne at the peak of Belenus, the mountain that lies at the center of the world, from which he could see all the corners of the earth and sky. And he saw strong men become weak, brave men grow cowardly, and wise men turn foolish for love. Korth, desired, Korth devised a plan that he might never be betrayed by his own Heart, by taking it and hiding it where no soul would ever dare search for it. He sealed it inside a golden cask, buried it in the earth, and raised it around the fiercest mountains the world had ever seen. Oh my goodness. But without his heart, the mountain father grew cruel. His chest was filled with bitter mountain wind that shrieked and howled like lost souls. Food lost its flavor, music had no sweetness, and he lost all joy in deeds of valor. He sent avalanches and earthquakes to torment the tribes of men. Gods and men rose against him, calling him a tyrant, but with no heart, Korth could not be slain. Oh my. Soon there were no heroes left. Oh my goodness. Oh my. This is crazy. So we can't do anything about the eggs. That's unfortunate. I was really hoping that we could. I was hoping we could like pick them up and put them in our bag. I bet those would be very expensive. I bet I could buy the Reaver robes with a dragon age. I bet, or dragon age, with a dragon egg. I, get, I bet I could. Surely. Two? I don't know. 92 gold is a lot. Ooh, what is this? Cultus. Right. Ha <laughs> ha gotcha. All right, oh my God, that dragon is fast. Go away. Yeah, that dragon is super fast. Oh, I'm frozen. Oh, that's unfortunate. All right, mind blast. Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. Um, Alistair. Oh, you know, look. I just need to point this out really quick, because look, I do. I love Alistair. I told him I loved him. I just need you guys to see where he's at. Look at where he's at. Look at where Zevran is at, the man whose heart I just broke. He said, girl, I've got you. I will not leave you. <laughs> Zevran, we love you. <laughs> oh, crud, and I'm dead. All right. Let's see, Wynn, can you take a Lyrium potion? 
and then can you revive me? I was too busy looking at Alistair and um, <laughs> uh, Severin, and look what happened. Okay. Alistair, you gotta drink a potion. Okay. And let's see. And I need a potion. And I need to hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh my god, there's so many things going on. Alright, I think Winter's Grasp on this. And then Um. Hmm. Fireball, maybe? On the mage? Okay, and then... Okay, everyone is okay health-wise. Can I do a Mind Blast? Stunned, stunned, stunned. Okay, and then maybe a Winner's Grasp on the Coldest. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. And then this guy, I think, needs, like, a crushing prison, maybe. Okay, so all of us have to take injury kits immediately. Immediately. Oh, he doesn't have one? Do only I have one? I'm the only loser that has one? I love that for me. I'm the only one that's died. Sweet. Oh, Ooh, what were they eating over here? Nice. All right, what can I put my hands on in here? Is there anything? Oh, that's such a letdown. There's nothing? Oh, were they eating like goats? Looks like goats. Hmm. What is this? What are these pens for? They were feeding them. Oh, wait, who are we fighting? Oh, more dragonlings? Okay. More, oh no, these are drakes. Okay, so harder than baby dragons? I'm guessing. Ooh, everyone resisted that. That's super fun. That is super fun. Everyone said, Mind Blast, we don't know them. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Where's Wynn? Oh my god, okay. Oh, these are strong, strong little suckers, aren't they? Okay, what should I do? Do I? Oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh, 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 win. We've got to pick up Alistair. Okay. Oh, we can't yet. Oh, good. Well, um, Zevrin, it's me and you, bud. It's me and you. Let's get started. Okay. And I'm going to shoot. I don't know what I'm going to do. I guess I'll arcane bolt this one because he's almost dead. Uh, let's see. Nice. Okay. All right. That wasn't as awful as I thought it was going to be. We survived it. We survived it. It was fine. Oh, they were feeding them though. Interesting. All right, that's definitely for Alistair, Stone Warrior statue. Yeah. I think I give this to Severin really quick. Yeah, I'm gonna empty my bag with, I'm gonna take out some of these gifts. All right, let's see. Where's that gold bar? That's for Severin. You have excellent taste. 
Oh, that helped a little bit. And then this has to be for Alistair, I'm sure. So I'm going to go ahead and I'll give that to him. And he'll take a potion. He needs one. It's like an injury kit. Is that for me? Really? <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. All right. All right. All right. He needs an injury. Okay. Oh. Drake's, we can make Drake scale armor? Who can do that? Who can make Drake scale armor? But I guess after a certain point, you don't get any additional, um, like, bonuses to gifts and stuff. All right, let's see. We go... Where? This way? Yeah. Oh, yep. I see enemies. I see enemies. Got a lot of enemies. This cult sucks. They're the worst. Oh my god. Where did you come from? Right in my face. Hello. Oh no. They're coming. Oh my goodness. They're coming from every which way. All right. What do we think is here? Mm. Lots of humans. My favorite. Oh no. And now they're going to be right on top of us. Oh, I messed that up. Ah! Ah! <laughs> oh no. Poor Zephyrin. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. I just put everyone on fire. Sorry. And I'm going to do it again. Oh, they're immune. That's right. They're, that's right. That makes sense. Okay, so... Oh, what the fuck are you doing? I didn't even know you were here. So, you get a cone of cold to the face. Oh, no. I'm gonna run away. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, that Drake. Okay, okay. Everybody, oh, everybody's dead except for me and Zevran. Oh, no. We should reload. Okay, I won't do the Inferno again. <laughs> I won't do that this time. What I will do, though, is Fireball. Okay, that seems like a better option. Okay. Alright, so now what? Where did the dragons come from? Oh, they're just like waiting for us? So, there they are. I was gonna say, where are they? Okay. Okay. I want to do combat magic. Oh, shit, 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 shit. Hey, hey, guys. You left the squishy one. You left the squishy one back here. Drake. Oh, no. Okay. Just went okay. Um, 
All right, she's all right. And then maybe, yeah. Oh, I got Severin though. That's not great. Okay. Let's see. You know what? I wonder if I can have Baggins with me right now. I've not even thought to like, because we're not in Denerum, right? So it shouldn't be bad. On it. I don't know. All right, where do we go from here? Maybe this way. Hmm. Maybe it leads to the same spot. Oh god, I thought- I don't know what I thought those were. Um, is that what they're doing? They're back here, like, protecting eggs? That has to be what it is, right? I don't want to do anything with- Ah, with your eggs. I just want to- I don't know, find the urn, I guess. As you oh, oh, I love that. I hit them on accident. Oopsie! <laughs> My bad. <laughs> What's going on over here? All right. Now we play a little. Now we play a little. Ooh. Ooh, it looks like I can touch that. That's so cool. I cannot wait. I cannot wait. Oh. Alistair! He just cut off his head! Oh my goodness! Mm. Life drinker. Oh! Oh, that's unfortunate that I can't take any of those. Hmm. Ooh, wind needs to level up. Hmm. What should I do for her? Let's see, spell shield, dispel magic, anti-magic ward, mana drain, mana cleanse, walking bomb. Hmm. I think force field. That that makes sense to me with wind. On it. I guess I can sell those things. The life drinker. Dun dun dun. Ooh, there's a book. This should be easy enough. The first blight. Hmm. Well, definitely. I want to look. We'll look at those. For sure. Alright, so I guess I go the other way now? Okay. This way? There's stuff back through here. Oh, no. That's where I just came. Um. Hmm. Which way do we go? Which way do we go? Then I guess we go back this way. We take the other path. Hmm. 
Hmm. All right, so we go up this way. What do we think is up here? I already see a light. If there is anyone in charge of these cultists, we have not met them yet. Yeah, that's a good point. That's a good point, Zevran. Who do we think is in charge? Who is the big boss? Are we coming up on them? Oh my. Oh gosh. Oh, oh, I didn't realize there was, okay. I'm gonna do mind blast really fast. Oh, maybe I am not. I'm going to try. Oh my gosh. Did she summon that demon? This should be easy enough. As you wish. To venture shield. This should be easy enough. Right. Boring. Well, I guess this is the person in charge. Oh God. Okay. How many people are here? Stop. You will go no further. Is that so? You'll stand aside if you want to live. I do not wish to talk, fight coward. You'll stand aside. The righteous do not fear death. You don't. You have defiled our temple. You have spilled the blood of the faithful and slaughtered our young. No more. You will tell me now, intruder, why you have done all this. Why have you come here? Um, I've come for the urn. Wait, you tell me your name and I'll tell you why I'm here. I like that. We learn from the hermit. You answer and I'll answer. I am Father Colgrim, leader and guide to oh. the disciples of Andraste. So it's not? Tell us and you will face Andraste. She will smell our blood, and the blood of her children on you, and her wrath will be great. Hmm. Wait, children, you mean the dragons? Is Andrasi a dragon? She is so much more! She is even more glorious than all the old gods combined! Are they charmed? The prophet Andraste has overcome death itself, and has returned to her faithful in a form more radiant than you can imagine. Not even the Tevinter Imperium could hope to slay her now. What hope do you have? I feel like, are they charmed or something? Is that what it is? What's happened to the ashes? They are still within this temple. But why do we need ashes when we serve the risen Andraste in all her glory? Hmm. Andraste's dead. You te yeah. So you can give me the urn then? So, you are after the ashes. Hmm. Perhaps there is a way for you to make up for your desecration of our home I don't and under temple. Why do you suddenly want to co Yeah, why do you suddenly want to cooperate with me? It may be because I believe in second chances. All of us stumble through the darkness before being found and shown the light. Perhaps through Andraste's mercy, her greatest enemy will become her greatest champion. But... Just say what you have to say. The ashes you seek reside atop this mountain, watched by an immortal guardian who refuses to accept the truth of the Risen Lady. Now the ashes prevent Holy Andraste from fully realizing her new form. They are a remnant of her past incarnation, and she cannot move on. As long as they exist. Uh, 
Oh, you would destroy the ashes? I would see you dead first. To arms, my brethren! Okay. And just they will grant us victory! Mm. Well, yeah! that's the thing I did, so we're doing it. Okay, let's see. Um, You guys are a little close, so I guess we'll do a little mind blast, maybe. Oh, okay, and then I want to stun you guys in the back. Okay, uh, I'm gonna run away, and I'm gonna do Cone of Cold on you. They'll probably resist it, I'm guessing. Oh, they didn't. <laughs> oh, God, and I got hit with my own cold. Uh, you need to stop, so let's do Winter's Grass on you. Thank you, mind your own business. I'll take care of you in a second, I'm hoping. Maybe Flame Blast? Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Um, okay. What do we do? Base edge and the horn. <gasps> to summon a high dragon. Wait, what? Okay, so we use that to do what now? Where is that? Where did that go? Um, Corgan's horn. Should I put it like on my bar? Sound this horn from the top of the mountain overlooking the village. All right. Interesting. Oh, mountaintop. Oh, we're going to go see them right now. Whale? Let's go. didn't blow the horn. That's as big as Flemeth. Oh, it's sleepy? It's gonna take a nap? Oh, well. Okay, let's see. Where did it... It's sleeping somewhere? Hmm. What do we want to eat me anyway? Tough and stringy. You, on the other hand, ought to be worried. Me? I should be worried? I'm not worried when we'll be fine. Do I do I do it? What do I do? On it. Ha! Okay, this is okay, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh, shoot. Um, ah! Okay. Oh, it's huge! No. Right. Oh, of course, of course, of course. A uh, cone of cold. I don't even remember what worked on Flemeth. That's not gonna work. Maybe Mind Blast. Oh, God, we are so fucked. We're so fucked. We're so fucked. Okay. What can I do? Okay, I just have to keep everyone alive. Um. Is he dead? No. Okay, where can I... What would be a good place to go to? Um. This should be... What do I do here? Let's see. Oh! Oh, if I drink a mana potion, would Crushing Prison work on it? Maybe? Did that work? A little bit? I think it did a little bit. Okay. Oh, no. Um, He has to take... I want him to take a Potent, I think. And then Wynn has to take a Lyrium. And then she has to revive Zevran. Okay. And I am going to combat magic, maybe? Here we go. 
Oh, we're all stunned. That's great. Okay. Mm. Where can I run to? Where would be a good place? Um. Oh. Oh, Severin's dead again. Alistair, you gotta take a potion. And she needs Illyrium. And I'm gonna take Illyrium. Let's see, I want to give everyone frost weapons, maybe? Okay. Oh, shoot. Okay, let's see. What can I do to keep everyone alive? Hmm. I think I need to reload. Where is a good spot that oh, we not afraid? It wouldn't want to eat me anyway. Tough and stringy. You, on the other hand, ought to be worried. That's where it's at. Right. Okay, wow, that was fast. Okay. What else can I do to it? I'm gonna put on my shield, I think. Okay. I just need to be better, I guess, about watching Severin's health. Oh no, oh god. Okay, 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 okay. Severin, take a health potion. Mm hmm. And Alistair, you're gonna take one too, just in case. And I'm gonna take a Lyrium potion. Let's get started. Shoot. Okay. Um, can I hit it with maybe Cone of Cold? No. Right. I can try. Nope. Oh my goodness. Okay. Frost weapon. Okay. And potion for Zevran. Potion for Alistair. Larian potion for me. And Larian potion for Wynn as well. Cleansing aura. Okay. Alright, everyone has marching orders. Sweet. For a little cleanup. Let's get out of the way of the tail. Hmm. Alistair, health potion. Okay, we're at half with it. Combat magic, maybe? You can do better than that. Okay, we're all stunned. How did Severin die? Alright, I'm gonna fight without him for a second and see how long we can maybe do this. Hmm. 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 
Health potion. Um, immediately, Alistair. And I go back. I'm gonna save my revival just in case. I feel like I should. goodness okay all right maybe now we revive him when with him after we take a mana potion okay goodness. Yes, Alistair! <laughs> nice. Oh, oh, is he stuck like that? Okay. Okay. Oh my god. Wait, what? These are all the things he had? Pure bitch braid. Oh my god. What? We're gonna have to come back, I think, for all this. I feel like this should go to... Oh my goodness. These are for mages? What did it do? Electricity damage. Late. Oh my. Ooh. Is this in case... Because I can probably wear heavy plate, can't I? Hmm. Yeah, I feel like I need to come back for all this. Can I come back for all of it? Surely. I was able to come back... Um... Ooh, they're stuck over here, too. What's going on? Oh, a gauntlet. What are we doing? What is... is that a person? I feel like we have just entered the Grand Cleric's bedchambers, where no one has gone before. Mountaintop, okay. There's a book and a vase. Andraste's arrows. Oh, <gasps> interrupt spell casting. Ooh, that could be really good for um, Liliana. Okay, let's see. What is this book? Where did that book go? Oh, there it is. This should be easy enough. I bid you welcome, pilgrim. Oh. You, um, you must be the guardian? Yes, I am the guardian of the ashes. I have waited years for this. Why have you been here so long? It has been my duty 
my life to protect the urn and prepare the way for the faithful who come to revere Andraste. For years beyond counting have I been here, and shall I remain until my task is done and the Imperium has crumbled into the sea. Will your task ever be done? I do not know, and I do not question. Who are the men who have taken over the rest of the temple? When my brethren and I carried Andraste from Tevinter to this sanctuary, we vowed to forever revere her memory and guard her. I have watched generations of my brethren take up the mantle of their fathers. For centuries they did this, unwavering, joyful in their appointed task. But now they have lost their way. They have forgotten Andraste and their promise. And what about you? Who are, well, in a sense, they haven't forgotten her. They have forgotten that Andraste was just a messenger. Oh. They speak no more of the Maker, only of their false Andraste, an even greater sin. Why have they fallen for this lie? It began with an ancestor of the one known as Colgrim. Oh. He saw himself as a new prophet, preaching the rebirth. Oh. Some disagreed with him. I heard their cries of pain and loss, which were quickly silenced. Hmm. Tell me more about the disciples. When my brethren and I carried Andraste from Tevinter oh, to the sanctuary, told me this. we vowed to forever revere her memory and guard her. I have watched generations of my brethren take up the mantle of their fathers. What can you tell me about the Urn of you Ashes? You already know that the urn contains the remains of the prophet Andraste. What else is there to tell? Okay. How do I get to the urn? You have come to honor Andraste. And you shall, if you prove yourself worthy. Okay, I need the ashes to cure a noble man. Still, you must prove yourself worthy. It is not my place to decide your worthiness. The gauntlet does that. If you are found worthy, you will see the urn and be allowed to take a small oh. pinch of the ashes for yourself. If not... What is the gauntlet? The gauntlet tells the true pilgrims oh. from the false. You will undergo four tests of faith, and we shall see how your soul fares. Mm. Okay, well, I guess let's get it over with then. Before you go, there is something I must ask. I see that the path that led you here was not easy. There is suffering in your past. Your suffering, and the suffering of others. Jowen was discovered by the Templars. You were helping him. Tell me. Do you think you failed, Jowen? Oh no, do I think I failed him? Do I think I failed him? I don't know, actually. Um. I don't like this. It what? No, I tried my best. It wasn't my fault. No, Jowen brought it on himself by dabbling in blood magic. Yes, there must have been something more I could have done. Because I'm sure that there were other things that she could have done. And there must have been something more I could have done. Thank you. That is all I wish to know. 
You are too hard on yourself. No one's perfect. Stop it. Accept your failings, but do not let them govern your life. And now the self-flagellation? Oh, that is what comes next in these things, no? <laughs> and what of those that follow you? Oh god, I don't know. Alistair, Knight, and Warden. You wonder if things would have been different if you were with Duncan on the battlefield. You could have shielded him from the killing blow. You wonder, don't you? My gosh. If you should have died, and not him. I... Yes. If Duncan had been saved, and not me, everything would be better. If I just had the chance, maybe I... Ask your question, Guardian. I am ready. You are ever the advisor, ready with a word of wisdom. Do you wonder if you spout only platitudes, burned into your mind in the distant past? Perhaps you are only a tool used to spread the word of the Circle and the Chantry. Does doubt ever chip away at your truths? You frame the statement in the form of a question, yet you already know our answers. Oh. There is no sense in hiding, is there? Yes, I do doubt at times. Only the fool is completely certain of himself. And the Antivan Elf. Oh, is it my turn now? <laughs> Hurrah! I am so excited. Many have died at your hand. But is there any you regret more than a woman by the name of... How do you know about that? I know much. It is what? allowed to me. The question stands, however. Do you regret? Regret what? Yes, the answer is yes, if that's what you wish to know. I do. Now move on. The way is Oh, open. he's upset. Good luck, and may you find what you seek. That is so interesting. What was what was that? I want to ask him. Huh. What woman were they talking about? What is this? Who are these people? General Mafarat. That's that's uh, that's her husband, or wasn't it? Right? Oh my God! What is this? Do we what? Do we run to the middle? What do we do? That's locked. I guess I'll. S the smallest lock could carry it, while a strong man might not. Of what do I speak? Need to hear it again. The smallest lark could carry it. A tune. While a strong man might not. Has to be a tune, right? Of what do I speak? A tune? Yes. I was Andraste's dearest friend in childhood. And always we would sing. She celebrated the beauty of life. And all who heard her would be filled with joy. They say the maker himself was moved by Andraste's song. And then she sang no more of simple things. Oh. Oh, okay. So each, oh my God, each one's going to be a riddle, isn't it? And they're all going to unlock the door. Okay. An eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth. The debt of blood must be paid in full. What? Of what do I speak? An eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth. For an eye, a tooth for a tooth. It sounds like vengeance, but what if that's wrong? I'm going to look really fast. An eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth. Okay, so it is vengeance. Okay. Maybe I should just trust myself. Yes, my husband <laughs> Maybe Hesari I should trust myself would have more. chosen a quick okay. death for Andraste. I made him swear that she would die publicly with her war leaders. That all would know the Imperium's strength. I am justice. I am vengeance. Blood can only be repaid in blood. Oh. Okay. 
The bones of the world stretched towards the sky's embrace, veiled in white, like a bride greeting her groom. Of what do I speak? I have no idea this one. Hmm. The bones of the world stretched towards the sky's embrace, veiled in white. Mountains? Like a bride greeting her Was that groom. an option? Is it mountains? Of what do I speak? <gasps> the mountains. Oh my god, please let it be right. Yes. Okay. I carried Andraste's ashes out of Tevinter into the mountains to the east, where she could gaze ever into her maker's sky. No more fitting a tomb than this could we find. Okay. No man has seen it, but all men know it. Lighter than air, sharper than any sword. Comes from nothing, but will fell the strongest armies. Of what do I speak? Hunger. It has to be hunger, right? Yes. Hunger was the weapon used against the wicked men of the Teventer Imperium. The Maker kindled the sun's flame, scorching the land. Their crops failed, and their armies could not march. Then he opened the heavens and bade the waters flow, and washed away their filth. I am Kefer, disciple of Andraste and commander of her armies. I saw these things done and knew the Makers smiled on us. Okay, halfway done. We have... Four left? She wields the broken sword and separates true kings from tyrants. Of what do I speak? Wait, hang on. She wields the broken sword and separates true, true kings from tyrants. tyrants. Of what do I speak? Oh god, this one I don't know. True kings from tyrants. Mercy? Oh my god, what if it's not mercy? Yes, oh. I could not bear the sight of Andraste's suffering, and mercy bade me end her life. I am the penitent sinner, who shows compassion as he hopes compassion will be shown to him. Um, okay. Oh, this is her husband. A poison of the soul, passion's cruel counterpart. From love she grows, till love lies slain. Of what do I speak? Here, I need to hear it again. A poison of the soul, passion's cruel counterpart. Jealousy. From love she grows, Has till to be love right? lies slain. Of what do I speak? Jealousy? Yes, jealousy drove me to betrayal. I was the greatest general of the Alamani, but beside her I was nothing. Hundreds fell before her on bended knee. They loved her, as did the Maker. I loved her too, but what man can compare with a god? <laughs> Bane Shorten. I'd neither a guest nor a trespasser be. In this place I belong, that belongs also to me. Of what do I speak? Hmm. I'd neither a guest nor a trespasser be. In this place I belong, that belongs also to me. Home. It has to be home, of what right? Do I speak? Because I'm neither a guest or a trespasser. It has to be home. It was my dream for the people to have a home of their own, where we would have no masters but ourselves. The enemy of my enemy is my friend, and thus we followed Andraste against the Imperium. But she was betrayed. And so were we. That's really sad. What's this last one? Oh my goodness. Okay. Rona. Echoes from a shadow realm, whispers of things yet to come. Thought's strange sister dwells in night, 
is swept away by dawning light. Of what do I speak? Dreams, right? A dream came upon me as my daughter slumbered beneath my heart. It told of her life and of her betrayal and death. It's her mom? I am sorrow and regret. Oh. I am a mother weeping bitter tears for a daughter she could not save. That's okay. Um. Oh, it's oh. What? Uh, what are you? Jowin! Why are you here? I can't. Uh, Had fun with the riddle game. Um. You're not Jowin. I didn't think I'd fool you, but am I really a spirit, or is all this in your mind? Are you in the fade, perhaps? Maybe. Honestly, I don't know. I am part of the gauntlet. I am Jowin. I am you. All these statements are true. Okay. And what is your purpose here? To speak to you and to offer advice. You have wondered many times if what happened to me was your doing. Perhaps if we'd taken another route or we'd been more prepared, things would be different. But it is too easy to obsess over what if and what could have been. These thoughts will eat away at you if you let them. Forgive yourself, just as I have forgiven you. I have something for you. Use it well. It makes me happy. Wait, is he really you here? The mage that I never could. Wait, Jalen, stop. Oh god, I'm gonna fight something? I don't wanna fight ba Baggins. Baggins, why are we fighting you? I what? Why is Baggins in here? Oh, oh shit, we're fighting all of ourselves. Oh, Okay, um... Okay. Oh, of course I'm stunned. Right off the bat. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Alright. Um... Girls, you gotta go. Alright. And then, uh... I'm going to do Cone of Cold, maybe, on these two? Okay, Alistair. Can I mind blast? Of course they resist. Uh, Wynn? Oh, actually I need to take Wynn out. Because she will be able to heal. That's right. Oh, that makes so much sense. Oh. Alistair's dead. Uh, real win. Can you resurrect Alistair? Okay. Because we need him. Okay. And then... Alright, I'm gonna take... A mana potion? Oh my god, get off of me, Alistair. But get off me, fake Alistair. Don't touch me. Okay. Is nobody gonna, like... Hey guys, I need you to... Pick up your friends, please. Pick up your friends, please. Um, let's see. Win has got to die. Okay, no, you guys have got to die. Where's fake Alistair? Oh my gosh. And I certainly don't want to go through it again. That was weird. Yeah, it was weird. Maker's breath are beautiful. Did you see that? Did you see me? Magnificent. <laughs> Magnificent. Andrasse well, loved her disciples like as she... Forward. Andrasse loved her disciples as... Hey, you see those thingies over on the side of that huge chasm? I bet they're used for something. Maybe I should touch them or stand on them? Yes. Next time we see a strange contraption, why don't you just go stand on it? If something bad happens, <laughs> hey, we know it's a trap. You uh, don't really think they're traps, do you? Hello. What are you here? I'm sure there's a moral in here somewhere. It's something to do with building bridges <laughs> with friends or some such. Okay, everyone join me. <laughs> everyone come over here. There we go. Okay. 
golly. All right, now I don't want to be in top down. How do I? No, 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 no. How do I get out of top down? There we go. What do I? What is this? Why is there fire? Why is there fire in here? What are we doing? I'll click the altar, I guess. This should be easy enough. This altar is a little more than a dusty stone slab. You can make out an inscription carved into its face. Cast off the trappings of worldly life and cloak yourself in the goodness of the spirit. King and slave, lord and beggar, be born anew in the maker's sight. Oh, I need to take everything off. Oh. I'll remove the equipment. Now what do we... Do we just walk through? I guess it's like a test of faith. Like... Are we brave enough to walk through it? You have been through the trials of the gauntlet. You have walked the path of Andraste. And like her, you have been cleansed. You have proven yourself worthy, Pilgrim. Approach the sacred ashes. That's Duncan's voice, isn't it? Oh, are they up here? Oh, another cutscene. Oh my god, what is that? I didn't think anyone could succeed in finding Andraste's final resting place. But here, here she is. He's so handsome. I could not have asked for a greater honor than to be here. I will never forget oh, this feeling. Oh, win. Nice vase. <laughs> I should get one for my house. <laughs> oh, Zevran. Cute. <laughs> okay, I'm going to take a pinch because I have to bring it to Eamon. And I'm going to leave the urn alone. Okay, what do we do now? What are we? What are? What are these things? Secret mountain path. Secret mountain path. What's this? Unfortunate adventure. So if I go on this side, does it matter? Or is it the same place? It's the same place either way. Okay. Now what? How do we? Ruined temple. Oh, so we still have to go through the whole ruined temple. Oh, that's so unfortunate. Oh, yeah. Well, I'll be cutting out all of this running. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, so we're out. So, I think we go to... Where do we need to go? We need to go to Redcliffe, right? Redcliffe Castle. Redcliffe Castle. And we give him the ashes, right? Oh, don't... No encounters. No encounters. No whammies. No whammies. No thank you. Thank you. <gasps> Perfect. Oh my god, what's gonna happen? How are these bodies not been cleaned up yet? You guys really gotta get to cleaning. What are you doing? Not cleaning up the bodies down there, that's for sure. Antigan. Okay, let's see. You return. Might you have news? I think so. Um. I would like to talk about Jowen. What of him? He awaits my brother's decision on his fate. I would like him released. No, I cannot do oh. that. He almost killed my brother. If Eamon wishes to pardon the mage, he will when he awakes. I found the urn. You have? Wonderful. Let us go at once to Eamon's side and see if the urn's I healing tried. powers live up to their reputation. At least I tried. I did try, you know, so that's... I don't know. Oh my god, I was gonna say, is it working? Where am I? Be calm, brother. You have been deathly ill for a very long time. Do you remember nothing? Tegan? What are you doing here? Where is Isolde? 
Much has happened since you fell ill, brother. Some of it will not be easy for you to hear. Oh no. Then tell me. I wish to hear all of it. Oh, how mad is he gonna be? Oh, is he gonna throw me out of his castle? Ooh! This is most troubling. I know. There is much to be done, that is true. But I should first be thankful to those who have done so much. Grey Warden, I know you did what you had to. I grieve for Isold, but I believe that had you not acted as you did, it might have been far worse. Oh, thank I goodness. am in your debt. Will you permit me to offer you a reward for your service? Yeah, I need your men. <laughs> exactly. Uh, I just need your help against the Blight. That, that's all I need. I understand. <laughs> regardless of your motivations, I feel you are worthy of a reward. I would like to honor your efforts. Nothing more. Um, I mean, I guess, yeah. Then allow me to declare you and those traveling with you oh! champions of Redcliffe. I'm a champion of Redcliffe? You Red will Cliff? always be a welcome <laughs> guest within these halls. And for you, Warden, a staff that belonged to Isold's grandfather. A himself, staff? A new a maid, staff? I understand. Oh. It will serve far better in your hands. Thank you. We should speak of Loghain, brother. There yeah. is no telling what he will do once he learns of your recovery. Loghain instigates a civil war even though the Darkspawn are on our very doorstep. Long I have known him, he is a sensible man. One who never desired power. I was there when he announced he was taking control of the throne, Eamon. He is mad with ambition, I tell you. Mad indeed. Mad enough to kill Caelan to attempt to kill myself and destroy my lands. Whatever happened to him, Loghain must be stopped. What's more, we can scarce afford to fight this war to its bitter end. But you can unite the nobility against Loghain? Against Loghain? <laughs> against Loghain? <laughs> Loghain? Oh, I was looking forward to meeting him on the battlefield. What are you proposing? You can unite the nobility against him, can't you? I could unite those opposing Loghain, yes. But not all oppose him. Okay. He has some very powerful allies. We have no time to wage a campaign against him. Someone must surrender if Ferelden is to have any chance at fighting the Darkspawn. Oh god, what do we do? So, I don't understand. Then everything I've done is for nothing? No, not at all. Loghain is responsible for heinous crimes, and I intend to see him pay. But our armies must be reserved for the Darkspawn, not for each other. I will spread word of Loghain's treachery, both here and against the King. But it will be but a claim made without proof. How do I get Those proof? Those claims will give Loghain's allies pause. But we must combine it with a challenge Loghain cannot ignore. We need someone with a stronger claim to the throne than Loghain's daughter, the Queen. Are you referring no! to Alistair, brother? Are you certain? I would not propose such a thing if we had an alternative. But the unthinkable has occurred. You intend to put Alistair forward as king? Tegan and I have a claim through marriage, but we would seem opportunists no better than Loghain. Alistair's claim is by blood. And what about me? Does anyone care what I want? You have a responsibility, Alistair. Without you, Loghain wins. I would have to support him for the sake of Ferelden. Is that what you want? I... B but I... Oh no, no I no. don't... What do we do? I see only one way to proceed. I will call for a lands meet. A gathering of all of Ferelden's nobility in the city of Denerim. There, Ferelden can decide who shall rule, one way or another. Then the business of fighting our true foe can begin. What say you to that, my friend? I do not wish to proceed without your blessing. Oh my god. My blessing? Why do you need my blessing? None of this would be possible without you. You led Alistair here. You saved my life with the urn of sacred ashes. It's your lead I follow. I am a credible enough figure in this nation to call the lands meet. But I hold no illusions that I could face Loghain without you. Surely you see that. Do you think this land meet idea will work? That depends. If we cannot get a consensus in the lands meet for Alistair, 
We cannot afford to oppose Loghain either. Does that mean Loghain could win? A man who killed his own king? Who has gone mad with power? Perhaps. We must see that he does not. What are my options? You have already found allies, but we need those to fight Darkspawn. I truly believe the Landsmeet is our best option. We could attempt to wage a military campaign against Loghain. But even if we win, would we have enough left to defeat the Darkspawn? No, but neither would Loghain. Perhaps Loghain gambles on this attitude. That everyone will decide facing the Darkspawn is more vital than facing him. So that he leads us against the Horde. Guess it seems we have little choice then, huh? Very well. I will send out the word. <laughs> but before we proceed, I believe there is the matter of the mage, my son's tutor. He still lives, I understand. Um... He does. He is in the dungeon, brother. I don't want him Have to him die. Have him brought here, Tegan. I wish to see him. I don't want him to die. Jowan, what you have done is not in question. You tried to assassinate me and set into motion a series of events that nearly destroyed everything I cherish. What have you to say in your own defense? Nothing, my lord. Other than to say I am sorry. I expect no mercy for what I've done. I see. Grey Warden, have you anything to say on Jowan's behalf? No. I don't know. He seems earnest in his desire to repent. What if I say that? The ritual was... I, I really like the ritual was his idea and he didn't deceive us. And he was... Er he seems earnest in his desire to repent. He was once a good man and a friend. Oh, I like all of those. He seems earnest in his desire to repent. Oh? That is... unexpected. Okay. And what would you have me do? As the injured party, my ability to see the merciful path is... strained. I don't know. Oh my god, give him to the circle. Wait, no, they'll make him tranquil. They'll make him tranquil, won't they? There are no good options, are there? I don't want him to be tranquil. She would never, ever, 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 ever want him to be tranquil. This is going to come back to bite me in the ass. I know it. But I think just let him go. Just let him go. And if the circle is so concerned, they'll go get him. But at least it gives him a chance. And I don't know what else to do. I don't want him. I don't think she would ever... And I don't, I... Is this me? I don't know. Just let him go. That I cannot do. He is a Maleficar, and I cannot unleash him on a land already racked by war and chaos. I am sorry. Jowan, I, tried, I hereby turn least. you over at to the I tower tried. of the Circle of Magi. May the Maker have mercy on your soul. Thank you, my lord. And goodbye, my friend. I tried, now, I tried. back to the matter of the land's meat. We should head to Denerim as soon as possible. I can delay that, however, if you have other plans. Yeah, I'm going to, I'm I going home. I prefer <laughs> not giving Loghain time to consider, but it is up to you. I do not wish to go to Denerim unless you are with me. Well, I'm going home. <laughs> Give me some time. <laughs> as you wish. It will take time for the news to spread, and I can use the interim to get my forces organized. Please tell me when you wish to leave. Until then, you have the run of Redcliffe. Oh my god. Oh, I want to go to the camp. I want to go to the camp. I just want out of here. I want to... Wait, why did that guy look familiar? Oh, um... Wait. Uh, get me out, get me out, get me out. How do I get out? Second floor... On it. Uh, 
I want to go to camp. I just have to think about these things. Well done. Well done. <laughs> I don't know if it was or not. We're going home. Oh, man. Okay, let's talk to our companions. Let's see if anybody has anything to say. What is your wish, Kadan? I am hardly surprised. Very well. As you wish. Hmm. You realize that you've been smiling for hours now? What is this? Have I? Since the last time you and that fool Alistair shot glances at each other, in fact. <laughs> he must be pleasant enough in bed, for surely I cannot imagine anyone enduring his conversation. Morgan! Oh, you have no idea. I see. <laughs> Glad to hear it then. Tis a bit sickening to watch you two, but I imagine it at least takes your mind from our situation. Have it your way. Oh, I will. <laughs> Let's see. What else? What else? What else? Wait. Oh, is this from Redcliffe? Okay, let's talk to Ogren. Just leave me alone, Warden. Seriously. Oh, why are you upset? Upset? <laughs> I don't get upset. I get drunk. Did you want to talk about something? Like to know more about you? What about? Oh my gosh. How do you like the surface? It's sodding great. At first I was a little queasy with all that air, but there's just so much of it. No one has any idea who you are or what you're doing. And the ale. Oh, who'd have thought ale made with grain? <laughs> Aye, the surface is great. It's like a big, bright world of filth without a ceiling. My kind of place. Hey, let's go find something to kill, huh? All this talk makes my hands twitchy. He really hates me, huh? Oh, well, that's a plus two, I guess. Um, wow, okay. Yes? Something you need? I'd like to talk. Yes? What's on your mind? Do you miss anything about Orle? I miss Falroyo. Unlike other cities where the people are the lifeblood and the character, Val Royaux was her own person, and her people little more than decorations. There was always music in Val Royaux, streaming from the many windows, quiet refrains and triumphant choruses, and always floating above that all, the chant, coming from the Grand Cathedral. It was magnificent. Is that all? It sounds wonderful. I'm gonna say it sounds wonderful. Oh, it would take me a day or two to talk about the many splendors of Orlais. Her golden fields, her lush meadows. Of course, there are good things and bad things about Orlais, like anywhere else. Sometimes I miss it dearly, and sometimes I'm glad I'm rid of it. She makes it sound so appealing. This, but I miss the fine things I had in Orlais. Oh, Yeah, what sort of things? Dresses, fine dresses and furs. And shoes, I knew course. they were for her. Oh, they for her, with for sure. With bad shoes, you see. Ole is very fashionable. Almost ridiculously so. <gasps> but the shoes. Living with those ridiculous trends was worth it for the shoes. Oh, I love shoes. When I left Ole, the fashion was shoes with delicate tapered heels and embellishments in the front. A ribbon, perhaps, or embroidery. In soft colors, of course. It was spring. That sounds so lovely. I had my eye on a pair my shoemaker was working on. It was covered in pale blue silk with amber beads on the toe. The shoes made in Orlais were exquisite. Not at all like <laughs> these clunky fur lined yeah. leather boots you have in Ferelden. Yeah, just look at them. I know. So ugly and shapeless. They're sturdy shoes. But sometimes a girl just wants to have pretty feet. Oh, I could talk about shoes all day, but we have things to do, don't we? Oh, do I still have those in my bag? Let's see. Um, blue satin shoes, okay. Oh, how dear of you. 
thank you so <laughs> much. All right, and then this is going to go to Ogren because I think he would want the mead sack. That looks fine indeed. <laughs> <laughs> And then Shale gets the remarkable garnet. Uh, let's see. Where's Shale? There. Very nice. <laughs> Very nice indeed. And then, let's see. What else? I think I'm going to give this to... Steel symbol of Andrasse. I think I'm going to give that to Liliana. Right? Oh, how dear of you. Perfect. Thank you so much. Okay. Nice. And then I'm going to put some stuff in those crates. Everything brings us closer to victory. All right, let's go talk to Wynn. What's on your mind? Mm. As a Grey Warden, I'll never lead a normal life, will I? No, you won't. And I think that makes her sad. And that makes me sad. You wonder sometimes, don't you? If your life would be better if you weren't who you are. A little. When I was a young woman in the tower, I came to the realization that the circle would be my life. And I would know no other. Family, love, a simple life. These were things that others took for granted that I would never have. I don't think you're missing out. Grass is always green around the other side. It made me very moody. All I could think of was being trapped in that tower with no way out and no end in sight. I started hating my life and myself, and one night I found myself in the tower's chapel. I was seeking refuge, maybe answers. Did you find anything? I must have looked tearful or made some noise, because the revered mother came out and decided to speak to me. Interesting. And because I had no one else to talk to, I talked to her. I must have said many silly things. But she told me that the Maker puts us all on our paths for a reason. And fighting our intended course is what causes so much anguish. And that made you feel better? <laughs> I thought the old biddy was full of rubbish. <laughs> I was 15, maybe 16, and I knew everything. So I left, but I always found my way back to that chapel. And as the years passed, I began to see the truth of her words. We were supposed to be polar opposites, mage and priest. But mm. we weren't. There was much about us that was the same. But priests have to choose to be priests, mages don't. Exactly. Not all priests choose their path. Oh. Some children are given to the Chantry to raise and become initiates. The revered mother had lived in the Chantry all her life, as I had been in the tower for all of mine. She taught me that you can find your family in the people around you. That you can love your work and find fulfillment in duty. And there is joy even in self-sacrifice. If you put others before yourself, then their well-being is yours, and their happiness is your happiness. That doesn't sound healthy. It won't be easy to live that way. That doesn't. It doesn't sound ha- Oh. Oh, God. You can't always put someone's happiness above your own, but you should also be considerate of others. It won't be easy to live that way. You can scream and cry and be angry about life as a Grey Warden. Or... You can accept it and allow yourself to see the good in it. This is your choice. What does Severin have to say? What say you? What say you? Care to answer some questions? By all means. Oh, there's no more questions. Um, is there any from Alistair after thing? Something you need, my dear. Oh. I have questions? Of course. Oh, nope. 
Let's talk again. Something you need, my dear. Like to discuss something in private? Well, we're in camp. Now's as good a time as any to talk, right? <gasps> Where do you see this going between us? Oh. I don't know. Wait. Our Lehman wants to make me king at the land's meet. I never ever wanted that, not in my wildest dreams. But I won't refuse it if it's in the best interest of the nation either. I love you. You know that, right? But I have no idea what being king will mean for us. I'll have to think about that. Wow. That sucks. Huh. If we care about each other, that's all that matters. I don't know that there is a future for us. Actually, I won't let you go, Alistair, no matter what. I wasn't looking for a commitment, you know. I won't let you go feels rather... <laughs> I don't know, that's a little intense for me. <laughs> You'll never get rid of me. <laughs> Just like claw marks clinging to his back. Oh god, <laughs> take me with you. No, that that one feels a little... That, that one might be a little too much for me. Um... <laughs> If we care about each other, that's all that matters. Is it? What about duty? What about honor? Those things are important too, aren't they? I hope they don't come between us, but I... I can't say that they won't. I'm sorry. This isn't really the time for this conversation. Please, let's... just talk about this another time. Minus 10. A minus 10. Wow. That kind of hurt my feelings. That one kind of hurt my feelings. Not gonna lie. Okay. Hmm. Is that for me? Really? Wow. <laughs> I'm... Wow. And then I'm going to give Severin the gold earrings because he likes gold bars. So he likes the gold bars. So let's see if he'll even like these. How nice. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, okay. Wynn is going to get the book. Oh, marvelous. Oh, okay. Maybe, did I not put another book in there? I thought I did. Okay, that's fine. And then Liliana is going to get this Andraste thing. Oh, how dear of you. Nice. Thank you so much. I'm going to give Ogryn, where's that thing? Where, where did it go? Oh, this. This maybe? That looks fine indeed. Okay, he liked it, I think. And then Sten, I'm going to give this totem. Unexpected. Thank you. Oh, that was good. And then I'm going to give... Hmm. Maybe this locket? A fine gift. You have my thanks. Oh no. Okay. Um, I am so sad about what happened with Alistair. I mean, really sad. But let's eat. Let's, let's do some little like let's let let's check in on some conversations with our companions. Let's get started. This is new, Alistair and Zev. Might I offer you a bit of advice? This, what is this gonna be? Hey YouTube, this is me from the future, stepping in as I'm editing the video and getting ready to upload it. Uh, because I wanted to give a little bit of a heads up, not necessarily a content warning, but like a heads up. I go into this game blind. Uh, I go into the mods blind as well. And from the reaction in my comments, 
because there's a lot of hate for mods. I'm guessing that this would also be, I think a lot of us will be going into this mod blind. So I wanted to let you guys know there are some not safe for work aspects of this mod, the scene you're getting ready to see next. Definitely had some not safe for worse, not safe for work aspects in it. I've edited it out, so it should be fine, but you know, just kind of like wanted to give you the heads up just in case. There is video on YouTube of the full scene without the <laughs> edits that I made. Uh, you won't find it in my video, but it is out there. I would just maybe not listen to it in public. <laughs> so if that's not your thing, you don't want to see this next scene, totally cool. Um, thank you for watching. Thanks for hanging out. Also, I've recently learned that my dad sometimes watches my videos. So dad, if you're watching, like this is a really good time to just go ahead and exit out. Let's just go ahead and push that X button and close it and <laughs> love support. Love you so much. Bye. Thank you. Please get out of the video. <laughs> but for anyone else, uh, what you're going to see is me being incredibly embarrassed and I just die inside as this happens. So um, yeah, let's, uh, let's get to it. It is a bit sickening. The little oh Tamper is all grown up and apparently he... <clears throat> plays oh God, well I'm dying. Others. I'm dying. Mm -hmm. I'm so sorry. I didn't know this was going to be this. There isn't enough in bed, for surely I cannot imagine anyone enduring his conversation. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God, I'm so sorry. Oh, that does not look good. <laughs> <laughs> Will you look at that? Half of us aren't getting any sleep, the way you two carry on all night. Oh. I do not think I will recover from this quickly. Oh no. Oh no. Might I offer you a bit of advice, my good friend Alistair? I like my hair the way it is, Oh my god. You. Truly. As you wish. Though my advice is regarding something else completely. It has to do with your recent exertions with your fellow Grey Warden that I overheard. Oh no. My... Oh. It did seem as if you just got going when all grew quiet. You are feeling alright, yes? Uh, perhaps you're tired. Oh my god. Oh we my aren't god. talking about this, are we? Did I hit my head? I have some roots from home that you may chew if you need energy. <laughs> As for volume, perhaps you ought to try arching your... Whoa, whoa. Awkward. You Ferelden's are so finicky. How will you ever learn how to pleasure each other unless you talk about it? Not listening. La, 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 la. Oh, no. Well, I could have gone forever without seeing that one, I think. <laughs> oh, my God, no. I'm gonna have to do something about that one. Oh god, the, there's gonna have to be some really heavy editing, I think. Well, what a... What, what, what a, what, what a thing to end on. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. Oh god, okay. Um, well... <laughs> I'm just gonna end, I think. I don't know if there are any words. I am incredibly embarrassed. I am dying on the inside. I'm wondering if I'm going to edit this out. I don't really know what I'm going to do, but I guess next time we're going to go to dinner room and it sounds like Alistair's going to break up with me, so I'm super excited about all of that. And, uh... Oh, God. Oh, my God. I Until next time, guys. <laughs> until next time. See you later. Bye.